in this way single columns also you can update but the limitation with update method and merge method is no primary key updation and not possible to update one single columns but using hql you can do this and here if you want to delete same type of queries we need to write how to write delete query here if you want to delete this record write hql query delete student where id equal to triple one or triple five we updated right so if i pass the triple five then it will delete query for deleting query also we need to use execute update only so here do the delete operation write the same example hql delete go to build path configure build path add library then here go through this hql okay from client if you want to insert one more student data insert here triple two lmn lmn gmail.com finally here two students records triple five and triple one now if you want to delete this triple five from here triple five record if you want to delete this record if you want to delete write delete client hql delete client then here how to delete it create hql delete student where id equal to triple five if you want to delete pass triple five then pass session dot create query pass here your hql finally it will return as query object then you can call query dot execute update finally it will return that's it deleted successfully the deleted record is which record triple five deleted okay so in this way you can make delete operations also using hql then select operations using hql now we know how to delete we know how to update we know how to insert insertion means dumping data from one table to another table now i'll go through select operations if you want to do select operations using hql so select operations how many types of select operations are there how many types of select operations we can do on tables we have many types right single record single row single column okay sometimes you can get by using aggregate functions like if you want to get the average salaries if you want to get the sum of salaries if you want to apply joins from multiple tables if you want to get data getting using hql you can apply all these select operations you can write single row select operations single record select operations single column select operations you can get complete table data you can apply multiple tables join operations okay you can do anything any kind of select operations you can do first i'll go through one row one row select operations using hql how to do select operations one single row select operations here write hql string hql if you want to get one complete row just you need to write like this from table name if it is student i mean your class name from student you don't require any select star kind of things if you want to get all keep from student 
okay keep from student it will get all the data let's say if you have a table student table with multiple records student 007 with multiple records id name email if you have records here 1 2 3 4 5 a b c d e a at gmail.com b at gmail.com c at gmail.com e at gmail.com so this data if you want to get you require to have a bean class in that bean class id name email along with respective setters and getters and here if you write query from student what it will do it will fetch complete data from student table if you write from student only one row data if you required you need to apply condition here right from student where id equal to 1 where id equal to 1 so here how to pass this session dot create query pass here hql what it will return finally in this query class how many methods we have three methods for dml operations we have to use this for drl operations you have to use this for drl operations you have to use this for drls so here the first one we should use for one record in case if you are confident to get one record you can go through unique object if there is multiple record select operations if you are doing multiple records then you can go through list method if it is single record you can go through unique object so single record queries means if you require one row data or if you require only one field data those are single records one row data not one column data if it is one column then it will become multiple records one row that one row data means one object actually in one row also you will get one id name email address i mean one id name email three values we will get but why you should call unique object that three values it will dump into one student object object itself it will return to us so finally we will get only one object so in case if there is a chance to get only one single record then you need to call unique object so you can call here q dot unique object then it will return as what directly it will return as a object student type cast to that object to student to type that complete data it will give in the form of student object you can get data from this student system dot out dot print ln student dot get id student dot get name student dot get email in this way you can do one row select operation one single row select operations in case if you want to get one complete column i want to get all the ids or else i want to get the all the names or if you want to get all the names and ids one row or two rows if you want to get one complete column one complete column i want to get means all the names i want to know here all the names so then hkl how to write select name from student select a name from student so then it will select all the names from student table so then there is a chance to get how many records multiple records five records we will get so in case if there is a chance to get multiple records call q dot list method it will return list of what actually we are expecting what we are expecting here a string name only right so it will return list of string of names it will return list of names only it will return to us so then write for each 
string name iterate list okay then complete column data it will return in case if you want to get two columns data name and email both if you want to get name and email both if you want to get name email these two records if you want to get name and email both if you want to get here then you have to write select name email, comma email. email select name comma email name comma email, email from student in case if you want to get two columns data two columns are more than one column or three or four whatever it is the count i want to get name and email how many strings these are so whenever i call this list method how many strings i can expect in one list object on every record i will get two two strings so where i can store that strings multiple strings yes it, it can be a map or something else so it will return actually object it will it will get for each user it will get one name and email for each user it will get one name and email for each user it will get one name and email that each name and email it will store into one object array object array for each user it will prepare one object array with size 2 with size 2 it will prepare one object array on object array zero index it will store your name on object array first index it will store your email so how many objects arrays it will create list of objects arrays five object arrays it will prepare that five object arrays it will add into your list object so here which value you will get list of object arrays we will get so each object from each object from the list you can expect a object array object wo list so this object is not a plain object it is a array object object array object array you just type cache your object to object array object array of arguments type cache to that object to object array from each object how many values we can expect again for each object value array then print this value here system dot out dot print ln print value from each object you can expect two two values instead of doing iteration you can print like this also system dot out dot print ln argument of zero it will print name system dot out dot print ln argument of one it will print your email id okay on each object it will return a object array in that object array it will return as name and emails 